Welcome. In today's video, I'll cover the controversial topic of halving, what it means, its purpose, and my take on the future of the network after August 1st, 2021. First of all, what is halving? 60 million HNT is distributed across the Helium network annually, which works out to approximately 5 million HNT per month. On August 1st, 2021, the distribution will be halved, meaning 30 million HNT will be distributed per year which is equivalent to approximately 2.5 million HNT per month. Just to note, there will be no change to any HNT which has already been supplied to the network. So if you already own HNT, this will not be halved. This brings me on to the purpose of halving. Halving sets out how the max supply of 223 million HNT is distributed over time. As you can see, as time passes by, the amount of HNT distributed within the ecosystem will be reduced. What this does is provide miners a valuable incentive to build the network quickly, as high rewards can be earned in the early stages, but also as time passes by, miners will be earning a more scarce cryptocurrency. If miners deploy more hotspots, the network coverage will continue to grow, and this will meet the demands of the end users and the objective to create a worldwide people's network. So let's take two hotspot examples within the same city, one which provides good coverage to the network and one which lacks connectivity. The first example is an average hotspot. As you can see, the hotspot currently is generating 12 HNT per month. So after halving, this figure will turn into 6 HNT per month. The reason for the low rewards could be based on variable factors such as bad miner placement, the user has no intention to upgrade their setup, high interference blocking the signal from reaching further out, not using the correct antenna. The second example is a good hotspot, which is currently making over 130 HNT per month. The reason could be based on variable factors such as the hotspot being placed strategically. As you can see, it has been set up close to an open lake, therefore most likely there is not much interference getting in the way of the hotspot when it sends out a signal. This allows it to connect to many more miners. Another factor could be an upgraded antenna. The pattern indicates it could be a higher DBI antenna as it is shooting out a signal in a more concentrated direction. The antenna could also be placed at an elevated height allowing it to connect to more than 30 witnesses. So even after halving, this particular miner will still be generating a good amount of HNT. As many more miners join the network, the mining profitability will be reduced. However, it is important to note, just like the examples I showed, HNT is not distributed equally. It is distributed based on the value your hotspot provides to the network. It is down to each miner to upgrade their setup or do something about it if it is not performing as expected. For those who are waiting for hotspots to be delivered, concentrate less on the halving factor and concentrate more on how you could provide the best network coverage possible as this will generate you more rewards. If you haven't done already, you can watch my video in the top right hand corner on how you can potentially increase your rewards. So let's talk historical facts. This will be the first time in history that HNT is halved and there is no previous data on the decrease or increase of the price after halving. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency which introduced the halving concept. After the very first halving in November 2012, Bitcoin was worth around $12. Then a year later, Bitcoin reached over $1,000 per coin. The most recent halving was in May 2020. Bitcoin was priced under $9,000. And as of today, it is sitting over $30,000. In my opinion, I personally cannot directly compare HNT to Bitcoin, as they have different use cases. However, what they do have in common is scarcity. Psychologically, humans place a higher value on an asset that is in demand and is scarce. For example, helium hotspots. Currently, it is rare to get your hands on a hotspot immediately. Therefore, the market can charge a premium if you wanted one straight away. So what is my overall conclusion? Halving does not bother me as much as it should do, as I see the project as a long-term investment. I believe in the growth of the ecosystem and the future of its innovative technology. It has a remarkable use case, it has a very well established team, it is backed by investment companies such as Google Ventures and it is clearly showing potential of rapid growth with many hotspots joining the network every single day. To me this demonstrates great value in the project and the rise in price of HNT should be evident, just like any company which becomes successful over time shares in parallel rise in price. These are my personal predictions, and there are many more variables to be considered. Just like anything in life, there is always a risk to every reward, and it is down to you to do your own research and make calculative decisions whether you will find value in running a miner. You need to be comfortable with the amount you invest, 
and understand the factors of the network, the fluctuating cryptocurrency market, and the potential of making long-term profits. This video has not been made for financial advice. It has been made to highlight how halving shapes the future of the network and my personal opinion on it. So I would love to hear your thoughts on halving. Please do leave your comments down below. In the next video, I'll be covering how to upgrade your antenna setup step by step and the best practices to follow. If you found this video useful and informative, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and keep those notification bells on. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.